Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. We are covering now chapter 5, adjust and troubleshoot single area OSPF. We're moving on with the packet tracer files. Uh, so now we're going to complete a 5312 skills integration challenge. And then um, I'll open the packet trace as well. So the objectives for this is the scenario in this skills integration challenge you focus in OSPF version 2, advanced configuration. Um, IP addressing has been configured, so we don't have to worry about that on all devices. You will configure OSPF version 2 routing with passive interface and default route propagation. You will modify OSPF version 2 configuration by adjusting timers and establishing MD5 authentication. Finally, you will verify your configuration and test connectivity between the end devices. Okay. So, requirements. Use the following requirements to configure OSPF version 2 on router A and router B. So, what do we need to do? Router A, that's, that's our router A. Enable. Config T. Router, it says uh, process ID 1. So, router OSPF 1. Network address for each interface. So, 192.168 so network network 192.168.1.0 and then wildcard mask 000255 area 0 enable authentication for area so area 0 authentication message digest OSPF priority set to 150 on the LAN interface right so okay so we go to LAN interface, interface G00. So the priority will be 150, so IP, OSPF, priority, 150. And OSPF MD5 authentication key ID 1 and MD5 key Cisco on the LAN interfaces between RA and RB. So IP, OSPF, message digest key 1, MD5 key, Cisco. Right, so this stuff is for router 2, router B as well, yeah. So copy, I can just copy. And open the notepad. Paste it, that's router A. And I'm going to do the same for router B. So I'm just going to take all this stuff, clear it a little bit. It. Authentication. Then interface. Priority. So if USPF. Okay. So this is for router A for example so RA and here I'm going to do for RB for RB the network is 192.168.1.2 that's the same area 0 authentication message digest G00 authentication priority set to 100 so I'm going to change this to 100 Set the hello interval to 5 and dead interval to 20. So IP OSPF hello interval to uh, what was it? 5 and IP OSPF dead interval to 20. And I'll do this, copy this. Okay. That's it use the following requirements to configure RC so the RC now okay RC uh, OSPF version 2 requirements uh, router OSPF 1 network um, the G00 is 192 192 168.1.0 area 0 network okay this one is probably another one yeah, network of the LAN, enable authentication, 
and set all the interfaces as passive and always we have an update on the LAN ok so uh, passive interface default no passive interface uh, G00 so we align on LAN but not nowhere else enable authentication for area 0 so uh, area 0 authentication authentication message digest ok enable authentication network on LAN set the router to distribute the default routes right so uh, default information originate ok for that we have to do IP uh, root all zeros and this is going to go towards S000 that's the exit interface ok let's put this on the top ok what else? Configure default attached default route to the internet. We just did that. OSPF priority set to 50 on the LAN interface. So the priority on the LAN interface which is G00. What else? OSPF MD5 authentication key 1 and MD5 key Cisco. Okay. Same. And the, uh, these are the same. Issue clear IP OSPF process. Command RC the default does not propagate. Okay. So we're done. All the stuff. Copy to router A. And then I'll go to router B. Config D. Highlight all that stuff. Copy. And paste it on router B and then for router C. Copy, we go to router C and paste it. Ah, enable and filter. Okay, so as far as we're concerned, pretty much done. Huh? Whatever is set. So I enable show IP OSPF enable. So we have neighbors. Boot array has two neighbors. The priority, the root A, we want them to be the DR, and as it says, we have a neighbor with BDR with the two, which is priority one hundred. And DR other with router 3, which priority is one is 50. We didn't configure router ID, so that's what I just picked uh, the highest. Here we have picked the highest router 3 and router 2 has picked the highest on the LAN as well. So is uh, sorry, OSPF neighbors should be established and routing table should be complete. So let's have a look. Show IP root. Okay, we don't see any any networks, any gateway, last resort. So router C I think had the resort the gateway. Yeah. Let's go to router C and say and show run. Okay. Go back. Route to C is doing message digest, same message digest key. Um, default information originate, and we go static route. Show IP interface brief. S000. Zero zero zero. Yeah. 
show IP root. Okay, that's the default gateway. We need maybe we need to do clear IP OSPF process in all of them for them. Config T or exit. Uh, we just highlight this. Yes, we are sure to clear it. We do the same for the one. Yes. And the same for the B. Right. Router A should be the DR, B should be the BDR. So we go to router A and we say show IP OSPF interface and is the DR. So router A is the DR and router B Let's expand this. Show IP OSPF interface. Root B is DR other. Root B should be the BDR. And root C. Show IP OSPF interface. No, he should be the he should be the BD, DR other. Root C. Okay. Show run. So priority here should be. Uh, Priority for router C should be 50. 50. All right, I'll just copy that stuff. And, and then do it again. Yes. If I go back to to B, yeah, it's the BDR. That's what we want. All three routers should be able to ping the web server. So let's look at the web server. 64, 100, 1 .2. So if I go to router A, show IP root. Yeah, I have a default root now. So I should be able to ping. Ping 64.100.1.2. Can ping it. First packet is lost because of ARP. Root B ping 60, 64.100.1.2. Yeah. And root C ping 64.100.1.2. Yeah, all three routers can ping the web server. We have root A is a DR, root B is a BDR. OSPF neighbors are done established and the routing table is complete so if I go to router C show IP OSPF neighbors yeah I got two neighbors I got DR router 1 and router 2 is BDR show IP root I should have my default gateway uh, default root show IP root yeah router C is, will have a static root router B should have a learned Show IP root. Yep. Gateway last resort. This is done. This is complete. 100 out of 100. Excellent. Check results. Assessment. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is configured. That's it, 100, 100. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully to see you in the future videos. Good night.